So over the last week or so, Big Ant Studios have come out and announced their new cricket game, Big Bash Boom, which will be released in November, around about late November, so not too long to wait for that. Now this game focuses on the Australian T20 Big Bash League and is the first game to feature the licenses of these competitions, both the men's and the women's. Now you may be wondering what is this game and how does it differ from the previous Big Ant Cricket games? Basically, the best way to explain this game is probably just to call it the cricket equivalent of NBA Jam. For those of you who remember NBA Jam back in the day, and the re-released version, the remade version they did back on the PS3 and the Xbox 360, which was basically just kind of over-the-top arcadey basketball and all this kind of stuff. This is basically the cricket equivalent. So one of the big things they wanted to do, and they talked about in their announcement, is that this is a game that the whole family can play. Obviously those previous games have been more realistic simulation type games. There's been a bit of a somewhat steep learning curve to kind of master the controls and how it works. Obviously it's built around trying to replicate real life cricket and make it as realistic as they can in video game form so there's been a bit of difficulty that comes with that especially if you're not sure the best way to play cricket if you don't play in real life or never have. So this one it's just anyone from kids to adults anyone can play and it's supposed to be a bit of kind of quick pick up and play fun which I think is a good idea. So basically they talk about in their press release that this is going to be an over the top kind of game where you know it's all about hitting big sixes and boundaries and all that kind of high adrenaline type stuff. They talk about different kind of things in the game like power-ups where you've got batting power-ups where you can the ball doubles its size and makes it much easier to hit or bowling power-ups where the batsman's bat is shrunken down to almost the size of a stump and therefore make it much harder to hit so you're going to have this kind of back and forth between players as they build up their power-ups. You've obviously got the big head so all the players are recognisable, very similar to NBA Jam like I mentioned, and you've got all this kind of fun crazy stuff like when a player gets out for a duck there will actually be someone out there on the field walking around dancing around in a duck costume so it's all pretty crazy and over the top fun. Now for me personally one of the criticisms I've had of Big Ant's previous cricket games when it comes to the T20 experience is just the atmosphere around these games. If you've ever been to a Big Bash game or any kind of T20 game, there's a different kind of atmosphere around these games. There's always a big crowd packed in, you know, who are full of energy, and the fast-paced nature of T20 cricket brings out a whole different, almost party-like atmosphere compared to the test cricket or one-day scene. And the Big Ant games, I feel, have never really been able to replicate that. You know, the T20 games, outside of just the short length of the games, have really felt no different in terms of atmosphere than the other forms of the game. So this is one of the things that's pretty exciting for me about this game is that we're going to get T20 in video game form and it's going to feel like it has that party-like atmosphere and probably even more so than that, a lot more over the top. So that's pretty exciting for me. Now a lot of people, in particular the diehard cricket fans who love the previous simulation type games, will probably be asking questions, well how does this affect the release schedule for this game and the other cricket games that began plan on releasing? Now I don't think this is in any way a replacement for their simulation series, I think there's no doubt still another kind of true successor to their previous cricket games in the works. The possibility is maybe this game has pushed that game back, but I think it's interesting to note that there is of course the Cricket World Cup coming up in 2019. It's probably no surprise for them to think they'll put out Big Bash Boom now, around about the time that the T20 Big Bash League starts here in Australia, then they can release their more realistic simulation type sequel or successor sometime in 2019 to tie in with that World Cup. So don't be surprised if next year sometime we see a Cricket World Cup video game by Big Ant that's back to their more traditional realistic roots. Now one thing you may have noticed at the end of this teaser trailer is that this game will be released not only on PS4 and Xbox One but it will also be released on the Nintendo Switch which I believe makes it the first ever cricket game on Nintendo Switch as well as the first Big Ant Studios game on Nintendo Switch. I think Big Bash Boom is the perfect kind of game for the Nintendo Switch as well because it is very pick up and play and jump in jump out. Definitely a game you can play on the go more so than some maybe some of the more realistic cricket games we've seen in the past where you've got the longer forms of the game that take quite some time. Plus of course the Nintendo Switch seems to be very popular with the younger audience and as is Big Bash Cricket so so combining the Big Bash League game with the Nintendo Switch and the younger audience that seems to have on top of that making it kind of an over the top really fun game that's easy to learn I think it'll sell really well in the young market. So overall I think this is pretty exciting. It's great to have something different, it's great to see the big end of thinking outside the box and trying new things all the time. I think this is pretty exciting as well because, like we said, we've seen other arcade sports games like NBA Jam in the past, but we don't see too many these days, and also, we don't see really any of these for some of these smaller sports, particularly these kind of 
sports that are big in Australia, so like your cricket, your AFL, these kind of things, they don't really get this kind of treatment. So I think it's pretty exciting to see this. It is something different and it looks like it's going to be a pretty fun game. We still don't know what it looks like in terms of we haven't seen too many screenshots, we haven't seen any gameplay footage, so we'll wait on that. But I think it's pretty exciting and smart move by Big End. Good to see them trying something different. So let us know guys in the comments below your thoughts and until next time we will see you later.